Oh god. Ah. I feel really bad for Sun. Um all right, well, ignoring that, good evening everyone. It is Camera X here with uh, a very very special guest in fact. Um the long awaited man himself. Um Xman723 aka Sun aka the guy that just died on the floor and disappeared. Hi. Oh, I'm here to ban all simps. All simps must be banned. I say nighty night to that. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm back here. All right. Okay. What a great introduction. Wait, what's ten the, out of ten? Where's the thing? All right, here it is. All right, we're back. <laughs> Very professional here. Indeed. <laughs> all yeah, right. We only make professional content here. Hell yeah, we do. All right. Let me just. Uh. So yeah, everyone, this is, welcome to the second episode of Camera X's podcast, where I invite um, way bigger YouTubers than me onto it, so we can talk about their career, you know, what they've been through, their ups and downs, all that, I've told them all this. Yep. I'm gonna try and get on your head, alright. So, so like Junkie did, um, you're, while we talk, I just, maybe you'd like to like leave a little momentum or something, I guess you could say, like, you know, like, Junkie did this. Um, he actually sat right here, believe it or not. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is the very place where FNAF Junkie sat? Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. But that's not all. Oh. Follow me. Hang on. I got I to gotta take some photos really quick. Hang on. I got it. Okay. All Ooh. right. Let's go. All right. But even better, welcome to Junkie's office. Oh, my God. I'm still in all of his Skittles. All right, let's see here. You know, we're gonna since Junkie's not here right now, we're gonna I'm gonna do a little prank on him. All right, so let's see. Where? Okay, so is this where he sits? He sits in that chair right there. He sits in right that, right there. Okay, right, we're just gonna do a funny little harmless prank right here. Oh, okay, oh, no. my game just. We're not gonna talk about how I just destroyed his desk. Uh, he didn't <laughs> see anything. It, oh no. Very professional stuff. Um, I see and what you're doing. We're just gonna there leave him a little present. Alright, um, sure. alright, well, good, then the next time he comes here, he'll sit on it, he'll be like, ouch, that hurt. Um, yep, good for him. I'll tell him the next guest left it. Alright, now, alright, let's get into this before um, we do something else unprofessional. Alright. There you go. <laughs> yep, again, we're very professional Gmod FNAF YouTubers here. Indeed he is. I mean, y yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> again, very professional, alright. <laughs> alright, so... Um, let's just start from the very beginning of your career, I guess you could say. So, okay, so... Um, your first video, um, I remember your first video, it was the Minecraft video before oh, FNAF yes. even came that, out. <laughs> that old video where there was a squeaky toddler on the floor. <laughs> yeah, so. I, you could even tell that was him. <laughs> Do you want me to just talk about that video? Yeah, um, like, just, yeah, briefly, like, what, like, what, what was going on during that period of time? Well, that was back in, if I recall, that was November 5th, 2013. At that time, I was a very, very small little child. And at the time, I wanted to be a Minecraft YouTuber. I was like, oh Minecraft God. is really cool. And it still is very cool to this day. I still play Minecraft. I still have fun with it. But back then, I was like, I want to be a Minecraft YouTuber. So this is like before FNAF even came out. Because yeah. FNAF came out in 2014. So this is 2013. Um, and I'm like, hey, I want to play Minecraft. I, I and At the time, I had Minecraft on the Xbox 360 and stuff. Because I would play it with uh, a lot of my old friends. Who I don't really play with anymore. Because, you know, times... Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's sad, you know. Friendships so grow apart. I mean, nothing ever happened between us. It's just like, you know, it's like old friends. It's like old elementary school friends. Like, I, I don't know, like, anyone who's, oh, yeah. like, still friends with, like, their elementary peers, but... I'm sorry, that was almost, but, like, yeah. 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, that too. It's, like, 10 years ago, so it's, like, forever ago. Um, but, yeah, just wanted to play Minecraft, you know, just doing a survival. I j and basically, all I wanted to do with that video was, like, figure out how to, like, make a YouTube video. So, I asked I, I asked my mom to help me with it, and, and we got a camera. We put it on a tripod and st stuck it in front of the living room TV. <laughs> And I was, and I remember the reason why my mom does the intro in that video, because like you can hear, is like she does oh, yeah. the intro in it, because at that, because I was, I remember I was like super camera shy, but I wanted to do it. I just did not know how to do an introduction at all, so that's why I got my mom to do it for my very first video, because I was a <laughs> scared little child. Oh so, yeah. yeah! Imagine if you did, it would just be like, "Hello, it's me." It's me. <laughs> like, you can even tell throughout the video. It's like there's times when I don't really talk because I'm like like kind of like yeah. nervous i'm like oh my god 
<laughs> You're not in your commentary so, yeah. phase, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah. take a seat, young Skywalker. Oh, oh, thank you. All right, um, we're just gonna bring you to the male bathroom. Oh, actually. Oh, does he? Was he? All right. Wait, you simp! You simp and simp! What's going on here, simp? All right, all right. Now, um, welcome to the female bathroom, where we're gonna continue is... discussing all this. This will be your office. What is this place? We must destroy it. Well, where's the oh nukes? Oh God, he. I don't. I don't think Sun. I don't think Sun likes the women. I think he. <laughs> <laughs> that, I was gonna say something, but now I'm not going to, because that would be very <laughs> bad out of context, and yeah, no. <laughs> Imagine someone recording this, and then just clipping that one thing you might say, and then just being like, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, no, no, this no, no, dude's no. more sus than we thought. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Alright, alright, let's move on before, alright. So, after that video, you, you made more Minecraft videos, obviously, and then FNAF came out, 2014, and then... I remember you started doing Gmod FNAF in brackets one, two, three, and all that. Yeah, like what? yes, that was the best OG series ever. Gmod oh, FNAF yeah. episode one, two, three. Yep, yeah, good times. <laughs> yeah, what was going on during that point? Like, what? What made you fall in love with the game FNAF? Like, what? What happened there? Well, obviously, okay. So I didn't really become a fan of FNAF till like when FNAF three came out. That's when I actually like became a fan of FNAF. But I had heard of FNAF before. Um, because basically I was introduced to FNAF, um, from one of my, from one of my friends, um, which <laughs> it's kind of funny because again, it's like, you can see him in like my old videos, Sir Trenton, um, which I'm still friends with him. We're, we're actually cousins. So, nice. um, but yeah, he, he showed me FNAF and obviously you're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe what video he showed me of what? FNAF. You're never going to believe it. What? M Markiplier FNAF part one. Oh my God. Yes. Everyone, that is, I mean, that is the, like the best way to get introduction. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember I, he showed me that video, and I'm like, "What is this? Day? This is really scary." And then, and then in the video, Markiplier he gets jump scared, and I scream. I just ran all the way home. <laughs> so when I was first introduced to FNAF, I was completely terrified because again, I'm like a small like little child. I'm still in like elementary school. Um, I think I would have. I think I was in like fifth grade at that time but yeah i was like completely terrified of it but i always but i always like was very interested in it because i'm like oh it's like robotics and like animatronics i, I think that's kind of cool but at the same time it's like oh they're monsters they're gonna come kill me so but then whenever there was something about fnaf 3 and this is why i always say fnaf 3 is definitely like out of the og fnaf games fnaf 3 is like definitely my favorite because yeah, fnaf 3 is the game that got me into the fnaf series um, cause I, I don't know why it was just like something about it's like, like just something like really weird. Cause at that time it's like, I, I, I had an iPad. Yes. I was an iPad kid back in the Sam, days, but Sam. not anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got the, um, I got the, well, actually, no, it was basically one of my old friends on, cause like I, I had to ride the bus home from school and one of my friends, they got FNAF, the FNAF three demo on their phone and they i was like oh yeah fnaf and stuff like that and they're like hey you want to play i'm like uh sure and i i played it and i actually had fun with it and i ended up getting on my ipad and stuff and then and then after i played fnaf 3 for a while i finally got the first game and played it too so i was like hey this is really fun yeah like i feel like fnaf 3 of all of them differentiates from all of them because it, it was very different at the time because fnaf 1 and 2 were in some way it's kind of the same i mean other than the doors obviously as most people say Here's a good question though. Um, who who scared you back then? Which animatronic scared you? Um, well, I think. Oh God. I mean, I think it was mainly for the first game. Okay, because I have like it's so weird like thinking back onto that time because it was like, um, looking at like all the like especially like with FNAF one and FNAF two. It's like when I was first in introduced, I was really scared of it and stuff. But definitely, I remember being like completely terrified of Freddy. Mainly because of his side jump scare from like so like not his power out jump scare but the side jump scare. Oh god, yeah. I remember when... that like completely terrifying. Yeah, me. I like, remember whenever he gets. <laughs> oh yeah, like I remember he. Yeah, whenever he gets to the door. Yeah, I also love like seeing him up in the camera and then he just disappears and he's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that was like something. But then I think something. I think I think I was also kind of scared of Foxy too. Yeah, he he was not that scary, honestly. I mean, probably because I, I don't, I don't, I don't really remember. I think it was I, th I, 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 ugh, I keep saying I. What the heck? I just know it was mainly Freddy, and then I, and I'm pretty sure I was also very 
terrified of Mangle as well from FNAF 2. Oh, yeah, I mean, she was pretty terrifying, yeah. Like, the toys yeah. weren't all that terrifying for the most part because the, the plastic, well, the supposed mm -hmm. to be at least, yeah. Um, yeah, so, Freddy, Foxy, Mangle, as any others? Yeah, because at, at the time, it's because, like, again, because, like, I'm, I was a child. Like, I'm not scared of them anymore, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Who, um, imagine being scared of, like, I don't know, like, Withered Bonnie at, like, 32 or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, um, so, yeah, that's the early days, I guess you could say. And and then you made your most popular video um, today, right now, um, the story of FNAF, which is... Um, actually, what got me into your channel in the first place? I saw it back when it first came out. Oh yes, the story of FNAF. Well, th there's a funny thing you mentioned there. My most popular video, the story of FNAF. Unfortunately, that's not my most popular video anymore. Isn't? It actually recently it got passed like I think last year or something, but it got passed by Minecraft FNAF statue, the joy of creation reborn. Oh, so, yeah, it did. It did, yeah. Yeah, because that. That, that video currently has 9.7 million, but the story of FNAF has 8.5 million. I have no idea why the Minecraft statue one blew up. Because, like, it was dead forever, and then all of a sudden it just, like, blew up and passed it. <laughs> it I, I was very... It was a very weird feeling at the time when it passed. Because I was, like, sad. Because, like, I loved having the story of FNAF be my most popular video. But then it was also it was like, oh, well, I'm getting... This video's getting more views. I, I should be happy for that. But it's, like, mixed <laughs> yeah. feelings. Yeah, it's like... It's like... A, a crappy video does really well. I mean, it's not crappy by any means, but like, it it just it's just like that one video you don't like at all it just does way better than the other. It's like, how? Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because like, right, so, all it is is just me flying around some Minecraft statues. Yeah, and not gonna lie, I actually kind of like those statues. I actually like Joy Creation in general, so you know. Yeah. All right, so. Um, yeah, let's um, let's rephrase that. Your second most popular video, um, the story of there Fnaf. you go. <laughs> All right, um, what was what was your thought process when you made that? Oh my gosh, it's so hard to like think back to it because I remember it was just like a bunch of random stuff. I think at the time, basically, the reason why I made that video and called it the story of FNAF because like this is five years ago. You have to keep this in mind. Yeah. Um, which it's actually it's actually about to be six years ago. Um, in May, so. Next month, it'll be six years old. Yeah, um, crazy. But at the time, I, I'm pretty sure the reason why I made that video was because, like, like tried to... It was, I think it was tried, trying to show, like, what I thought the FNAF, like, lore was, like, at the time. So it had, like... It basically, like, kind of told the story of, like... It had, like, the unwithered... It, yeah, it started off with Fredbear, had, like, the bite, and then it changed until, like, all the unwithered animatronics became withered... And then, like, Shadow Freddy came by with, like, the follow me stuff and, yeah. like, the toy animatronics. So, and, but then, like, at the very end, it just turned into pure randomness because, like, everyone just starts to find laws of physics and starts flying away. So, yeah. back when nobody knew what the law bloody was. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's probably why that video did very well, at, also, is because it's, like, the story of FNAF. Because, like, at the time, like, way back then, like, everyone's, you know, like, what's the lore of FNAF? So. Yeah, so, yeah, that that did really well, for obvious reasons, and yeah, is that when you started blowing up, then? Yeah, that was in, like, 2016, that's that's around when I, yeah, in 2016 was when I first started getting, like, a lot of attention, like, I hit, like, a thousand subscribers, ten thousand subscribers, um, I don't remember how many I had, like, throughout, like, by the end of that year, but it, that's when I, my channel first started having its, like, first, like, kick, and started like blowing up slightly. Yeah, you started getting your um, first few fans and all that. Yeah, you you gain you gain a lot. Yeah, so yeah, from making random Gmod FNAF videos to random um, pixel art videos and um, Minecraft stuff, which you didn't do a lot of. <laughs> you probably gave up on that after FNAF came out. Well, I will say with Minecraft, there is actually um like from like years ago like again this is when i first started my channel and my first few uploads i actually did upload like a huge i had like a bunch of these old minecraft videos i had like minecraft like build videos where i'd like build stuff in minecraft creative and then i also had like all these old minecraft skywars videos because i absolutely loved minecraft skywars and but then i ended up um taking them all down because i'm like oh these are because because it, it's like i went through that phase i'm like ew, all these old videos are cringe <laughs> so but like looking back on it i wish i wouldn't have deleted all those old videos and i had a bunch of like old like regular minecraft survival series as well but all of those are gone now so oh, yeah you should you should have just privated them that's what i would have done yeah like looking back on it's like that's what i would have done but it, i think it was like around like the time when i hit like a hundred thousand subscribers because i don't know why 
But when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I was like, I need to go back to my old videos, make them look super good because I'm a professional YouTube now. And I'm like, <laughs> but looking back on that, I'm like, no. So that's that's one thing is like never like, um, like if you don't like it, like one of your old videos, private it, don't delete it because you might like want to come back to it later on. Okay. So I actually made Ooh, that yeah, mistake. Nice yeah, yeah. You got a little desk, you know? I made them. Oh, oh I, God don't, damn it. Don't worry about I, I spent so long. Professionals. I spent so long. Uh, yeah, right, let's see here. Dory, he's he. he uh, oh, alright, so you just decorate your office. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Alright, get the shovel. It's just in case yep. snow comes out. <laughs> that way, I can bury the sims. I mean, what? I like. Anyways, this, moving I like on. Style. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, um, moving on from that. So, you just made more random videos after story of FNAF. You know, you just made pixel videos, FNAF videos, all that, and then. Uh, what happened after that? I'm just scrolling through your old videos at the moment. Um, yeah, well, I mean, you made... yeah, for like most of the time when I first started doing like Gmod FNAF, I was just like, I just did like a bunch of random stuff, like stuff like I thought might be fun and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I had a bunch of like random series, like a bunch of random videos that most of them don't make a lot of sense, but I guess that's what makes them better. Yeah, I liked a lot of these. Like, I remember like um, in one of your old videos, I remember it had this, this Shadow Freddy had that text to speech thing and oh yeah that is um the true story of FNAF series. that's what i'm on oh, right yeah. now yeah yeah i'm looking at all three of them right now those those are really nostalgic for me i used to watch them a lot as well when i was younger <laughs> yeah those that's that's when i was like trying to like try to change up my content slightly try to make it look a bit more professional instead of it being like oh it's just it's just me like recording me going like Ugamic Ugamic spook guns, but I actually like try to like put like try to like make posters and add like um proper like voices behind it but instead of it being my own. Oh god, I'm so confused. So, but right? then Oh oh no. Ah. Mr. Mr. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'm fine. Alright, uh, oh. sorry about that continue. I was about to shoot you down, but okay. Oh, um Um see you so, don't uh, you don't you don't trust the sun, guys. This is why the moon's this is why the moon must be superior. Mm-hmm. All right, now keep going. Sorry. What were you we talking about again? <laughs> oh god, <laughs> um, the true forgot. story of FNAF. <laughs> oh yes, the true story of FNAF. So yeah, with that series, it's like I just wanted to, I just wanted to try something different, you know? Because at the time, there was like a bunch of these like SFM FNAF series going around and stuff like that. And I used to do all my videos on a MacBook because that was like my only computer. Oh yeah. Um, so I was like, I was like, I can't do, you can't do SFM on a Mac. You can only run it on Windows. So I was like, well, I'll just do it with Gmod. I love Gmod. I'll just make Gmod posters and add voices behind it. So yeah, that, 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 that's, that's that's what I did. That's what I think made it like really, like unique because you were doing what SFM as did, but just with you know, <laughs> Gmod. But in the style of Gmod. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if you learn how to do like animations on Gmod or <laughs> something. Yeah. Because I was like trying to like make these different posters, and I would try to like use the bone tool to make them talk and stuff. Yeah, like I, that would have been cool, but it wouldn't have been as cool as you know what you've gotten today. So yeah, because like with the type of content I do today, it's like so it's like easier to produce. That's why it's like easier to get out more videos more frequently and stuff instead of like taking the time to do like proper voices and stuff like that like sure it does make it look cooler, but then it also comes at the cost of like taking longer to make. Yeah, I mean, so. that's fair, yeah, there's, I mean, like, yeah, like, I actually used to do SFM, like, three years ago, and I stopped doing it because it was just too long, too boring, and I moved to Gmod because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, that, I also did have an SFM phase, like, you may or may not know of my third channel. Yeah, I know of all um, these channels, Where yeah. I do a bunch of, I would do a bunch of, like, SFM animations on there, mainly just for fun, just, like, just stuff um just like stuff i wanted to do like i was like oh this animating's fun and stuff which i do know how to animate and like animating is fun but like now there's like not really a reason to do any animations for like the stuff i do right now for like content sure. and stuff um but it, it, it is fun to animate whenever i do but i haven't done any like animation stuff recently like now i only use sfm for like posters for thumbnails oh yeah <laughs> i really like the performance oh god i remember one of your sfms you like you did like a recreation of one of the scenes from Nightmare. No, 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 not Nightmare's Prisoners. Um, I think it's Nightmare's Prisoners. Yeah, like where or Gold I think it's the Nightmare's toe. Nightmare's Attack Part Five. Yeah, Nightmare's about Attack. The pinky toe. Nightmare. Yeah, the Pinky Toe. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> like the, the animation. Like 
when it's animated, it looks so much more funnier because <laughs> they're, yeah. they're so expressive all of it. But that's something I wanted to do at the time was like try to like get like um that was something else I was trying like experimenting with was taking like clips from my channel like from Gmod FNAF role plays and then animating them. Which like I I obviously did that one and then I didn't really do any more after that. But yeah, like the the anim the animations are like they make them ten times funnier. Like personally, I would continue doing it, but that's up to you. But yeah, yeah. All right. Anywho, um, moving up. Um, wait, where was I? All right. So yeah, moving up. You didn't do a lot after that, but then you did. If I can find it, it it was on here somewhere. You did. You did something. It got 1.9 million views a summer. Um, I, can't I have a bunch of videos with a million views, so I don't know. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna keep scrolling. So yeah. Um, after that, I will say. I will say. Like I've had people come up to me and like some fans of mine and stuff. Like, oh my god, do you remember when you did this in this one video? Like, do you remember what video it's from? I'm like, I have like over 3,000 videos. I have no clue. <laughs> oh yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like. Like when you're you're a small YouTuber and you've just got a bunch of memorable videos, like oh I know that, but then your YouTuber has like three thousand videos. And you're like oh my god, do you remember that one video where you um ate a pizza? I was like, I eat pizza every day. <laughs> you re you remember that video where you had uh Freddie Fazbear say that funny thing? I'm like uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember when Chica? And Cupcake talks to each other. <laughs> oh, 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 funny, haha. Huh? Yeah. All I'm, right. just, I'm just kind of poking fun. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, all right. But yeah. Yeah, all right. I think I actually remembered it now. Ignited Bonnie's Adventure. That, that, oh, yes. Ignited Bonnie. That, that blew oh. up, yeah. Yes. One of the. I like to call it. I like to have it. I like to call this like the three Bonnies. So you have Ignited Bonnie, Jacko Bonnie, and then Phantom Bonnie. Oh yeah. Which, if I do recall correctly, I'm pretty sure Phantom Bonnie was the first one to come out. I think so, yeah, because, yeah, I mean, it didn't do as well, but it was really good. Like, I mean, I yeah, really it was very no it. noticeable at the time. Yeah, because, like... Because I did, um, because, like, I popped out Phantom Bonnie Story Part 1 and Part 2, like, back to back. And then ever since then, people have been asking for Part 3, and I still haven't done it to this day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I mean, Phantom Bonnie, it's... An yeah, like, all three of those were really, really good. I mean, like, for for back then, like, stuff like this, it just blew up because you're really unique, you know? I mean, like, Phantom Bonnet. Who's Phantom Bonnet? There's only Springtrap, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I think, and again, I also think that's also why that did very well, because again, like, at the time, like, um, people were like, oh my god, where's Phantom Bonnie in FNAF 3 and stuff? So then I, I made a series about him, about his own story, about, like, what happened to Phantom Bonnie. Yeah. So. You were just doing, like, what ifs at the time. Like, to, I feel like that's what yeah. intrigued people. Yeah. I mean, yeah, than... I think that's also, like, very good. That's what I love about, like, doing, like, Gmod FNAF role plays and stuff. Like, what like what if we had these con these characters in this situation? Like, what would happen, essentially? And, um, yeah, come birth, uh, the Among Us videos, that's the what ifs. <laughs> Oh yeah, Among Us. Among Us. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. Like, what if Freddy and friends were in Among Us? Who's the sussy imposter? Oh my god. All right. All right, but anyways, I'm getting off topic a little bit. So going yeah. back to Ignite Bonnie. Oh my gosh, that was that was fun because that's that's where I got my first unique character, which was Ignited Chica. Because like for Ignite Bonnie, it's just my normal voice for it. Um, sure, you also have like the endoskeleton in that video too. Um, but at the time, it was just a regular endoskeleton. wasn't very anything special. Can I just say? Um, but the oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, um, Ignited Chica is my favorite character you've ever made. <laughs> yes, Ignited Chica, because yeah, because because in that first one, Ignited Chica came to life, and that's where I gave her her own unique voice. And um, instead of it just being like my regular voice, because I just normally use like my voice for like the majority of like my Bonnie characters. Um, yeah, like, Chico's a unique. But then that's, like, when I started, like, trying to give, like, a tone to it. So, I, and then I was like, cranberries, which I, I can't really do the voice anymore for Ignite Chica, like, unfortunately. Like, I can't do it, like, as professional as it used to be. That's a shame, yeah. I mean, I used but to... it's like, if I, can, I can try. I can try. It's like, cranberries! I need the cranberries! Yeah, it, it seems a lot more high-pitched now, but, yeah. I used yeah, to, it, I, it's hard to, like, get it back to, like, that original tone. Yeah, like, I, I used to love it, imitating that voice. I was like, cranberries! Cranberries! 
I know. Yeah, I, I love that. Like having like uh, just a character, just a random character, just be obsessed about a random object. Like yeah. I think Inaki Chica was definitely like the first character that actually had like unique personality to it. Yeah, like I, I really, yeah, she was really enjoyable. Like you made, you just made some really unique characters at the time. Like, like Ignite Chica, loving cranberries, Ignite Bonnie. I mean, even I'm gonna be honest, he's not unique. But even then, you made it work. You made him likable and all that. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, because like I think the thing that's also good about Ignite Bonnie is like how like basically it's like a Bonnie character taking leadership. Because it's like normally whenever you look at the Freddy Fazbear gang, you you always look at Freddy as the leader. But like out of the Ignited, I was like, here, let's make it, let's make it about instead of it being like the main focus, the main character being like Ignited Freddy, let's make it about Bonnie. Um, let's like have like somebody else step up to the plate. Yeah, like I mean, that's that's also really unique. Yeah, like now that you mention it, yeah, that's also what made him unique because you know he's. A Bonnie leading the Freddy crew. It's like, um, wait, is this Bonnie and friends now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, but then eventually, like, Ignite Freddy did get into the Ignite Bonnie series, but, like, Ignite Bonnie continued that leadership role. Yeah, I, actually, I'm looking at it now. It, it did not do as well. God damn, 400k. I mean, that's yeah, good. Yeah, Ignited, uh, unfortunately, Ignited Bonnie, like, nobody, that's the thing that's sad, is, like, especially, like, with my old series, like, Phantom Bonnie, um, Ignited Bonnie, um, even Jacko Bonnie and also Spring Bonnie. It's like back then, like everybody loved those characters and stuff. But like nowadays, like nobody, whenever I make like a Spring Bunny video or um, or anything really like that's like related about like a super old character like Ignited Bonnie, nobody really cares anymore. Yeah, it, it's um, a shame. Yeah, so, like yeah, I'm... it's kind of sad, but. All right, actually, all right. Um, let me keep moving up then. So yeah, after Ignited Bonnie, you. You did, you just pretty much did the same stuff. You did Ultimate Custom Night for a little bit, so that was fun. Um, and then, yeah, you just, oh, oh yeah. yeah. And then... I, I loved Ultimate Custom Night. That, Ultimate Custom Night, when it came out, that was, like, my favorite, like, FNAF game for, like, a good solid yeah. few months. Like, I would just play that, like, all the time. Yeah, I, I loved that as well. Yeah, it was really good. Like, I, I actually did really well on it, and I'm proud of myself for that. But, yeah, um... And then um, you made Freddy's Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Burns Down, which is my second favorite video you've ever made. So, oh yes, that video. So I remember with that video, um, which I still think it's kind of funny, is that like if you click on it and stuff, if you like first click on it, it has like a pop up of one of my friends, Connor, who actually like recommended me to do that video because like back then that was in like 2018 because back then I had a Discord server. And I had like a little tab, like a little text channel on it to where like my fans could submit video ideas for me and stuff. And if I liked it, I would like, um, I would make a video on it and I would feature their comments to give them credit for the idea. Um, which is kind of funny because it's just Freddy Fazer's pizza burns down. So it's like something very simple because again, because there's like FNAF 3, we all know the story of Fazer's Fright, it just burns yeah. to the ground. <laughs> So I think that's, again, what made that video very likable is, like, kind of sticking to the roots a little bit, but in, like, a different situation. Instead of it being, like, FNAF 3 burns down, it's, like, what if the actual pizzeria burnt down yeah. and stuff? And if I if I do recall, I'm pretty sure, like, Springtrap's in that video, and I think... Yeah, he um, is. Yeah, I haven't he... watched that video in a while, but I'm pretty sure Springtrap's, like, sets the building on fire. It's yeah, like, damn, trying to have to well, escape. Yeah. I remember it pretty well, yeah. He was he was in the building, and then he set a fire, and he escapes, and then... I remember it really well. Uh, Toy Freddy got stuck in there, and then he went into a room to play Five Nights at Mr. Hugs, and then <laughs> oh, Mr. Hugs! I oh, the good old days. That's that's something else that I loved about Ultimate Custom Night because Ultimate Custom Night gave birth to Toy Freddy being obsessed about Mr. Hugs. Yeah, it, it, Ultimate Custom Night had so many memes in it. Yeah, oh my gosh! It, it gave birth to the Toy Freddy we all know today on your channel. I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that. That was really eventful. Yeah. So, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Burns Down, one of your best videos, in my opinion. Um, if we keep scrolling down, um, you made a bunch of. This is when you started to like, you know, get away from like Minecraft pixel art and stuff, and you just you were fully focused on like Gmod FNAF and all that, and sometimes FSFM. You really... Yeah, because at the time I did all those Minecraft pixel arts because, like, back in the day, I used to be like fascinated with like time time lapses. So, like, basically, it's like example, like someone builds a house and it's like super fast and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, wow, that's really cool. And I saw all these like Minecraft uh, speed builds and stuff like that, where like people like build a castle and stuff. I was like, I wanted to do that too. But at the time, I was also into FNAF, um, which I still am into FNAF. Um, but I was like, hey, I want to make something cool. So I make those. I made those pixel arts. 
<laughs> yeah, like, I really liked them all, yeah, but then, um, yeah, you keep kept moving up, differed away from it, and then you made 31 Nights with Jacko Bonnie, which is one of your, your most unique series, in my opinion. Yes, 31 Nights with Jacko Bonnie. Oh my gosh, that series. Season 1, beautiful. I love Season 1. Season 2, it gets kind of iffy, and then Season 3, it, it, it kind of died, unfortunately. Yeah, like, uh, so. yeah, like, I mean, I just, how in the hell did you manage to do this for, like, That was torment, days? let me tell you. So, again, because, like, I'm, 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 I was, st I'm still, like, a kid and stuff, like, I'm still doing school, um, at the time as well, so I'm having to, like, juggle so many, like, that's the thing, when I did, um, I don't know how I did season one, because in season one, I upload every single day of October for Jack Obani, and then also I made, like, a few handful of other videos that weren't Jack Obani related in October as well. So, it was just a matter of, like, staying consistent, but I remember, like, at the end of October, I was just completely, I just felt completely burnt out, because I was having to, like, constantly work on, like, the same series every single day. Like, at first, it's like, oh, that sounds fun, like, trying to do that, like, do, like, a video every single day about the same series. But then, like, once you get, like, a week into it, you're starting, like, oh, wow, I'm starting to get kind of burnt out. I'm not really enjoying this as much, but I just had to, like, push myself through it. So like I I have no idea how anyone could do this, but you did it, and it was honestly it was like I said it was unique, like making like thirty one whole videos in the span of thirty one days, and they're all really good, and most of them didn't even do that well, but they they still they're still really good, and the that's just really impressive in my opinion, like and the fact that you did three seasons of this must have been torture for you. <laughs> yeah, I I that's the thing. It's like I don't. I don't think I'm going to do a season four, especially with how season three went. Cause season three by far, in my opinion, was probably the worst one like performance wise. Cause I did, so I did season, I did season one and then the next year I did season two. But then after that year, the next year I actually took like a break from it and only uploaded like one Jack O'Bonnie video. I think it was called like Jack O'Bonnie and the Jack o Lantern curse. Um, so that was like a little like segment year so I could take a break from it. And then the next year after that, that's when I did season three. Um, where I uploaded every single day and stuff. Yeah. And I it just kind of like, I think in season three, that's kind of where it made me realize like why the series isn't like doing as good in like views and stuff like that is because like one, it's like having to wait every single, like as a viewer, that's like kind of annoying. I would say is like having to like, it's like, oh, let's, let's, let's watch this today. And it's like, oh, I have to wait till tomorrow to see the next part. It's like, oh yeah, it's finally, I was like, oh, I have to wait till next part again and stuff. And then like some of the videos, like, cause again, it's like me like doing the same series every single day. It's like I, I I start to get burnt out and stuff and so it makes me not really enjoy recording it and when I'm not like enjoying recording a video that means I start putting less like effort and motivation into it so that means the videos themselves start to become less and less so yeah like I, I mean I could tell near the end like the videos were getting like shorter and shorter they were like 10 minutes some of them were yeah like all I'm, if I'm correct I'm pretty sure like the majority of like season three like all those videos are like eight minutes long yeah, like, like it was like, oh my god, I don't even remember what happened in most of this. I mean, that's probably, like, the one of the reasons why it, it's downfall, I guess, because, like, it, it was just kind of hard to follow, because, like, it, it was 31 videos. I mean, they were pretty short, but it was like, it's 31 videos. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a, it's again, a, I think season one is the best, and then season two is when I started, like, when I was, like, season two is, like, where I was, like, oh, I gotta try to do this again, but then I started to be kind of inconsistent, because there's actually not 31 parts of season two, because there's actually, like, a gap where, like, I didn't upload any Jack Obani, uh videos for, like, a week, so I think on, like, if you go to, like, the playlist of, like, 31 Nights of Jack Obani, I'm pretty sure there's, like, one night where it's, like, it's, like, I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I think it's, like, around, like, night um let's just say like night 19 but then it goes dash to night 21 in the same video so it counts as like half of like the nights basically in just <laughs> yeah. one video i feel like you just did that so you know you could yeah and the reason yeah. why i did that is because like i was completely burnt out so yeah it's understandable it looks like you, you you just you do so much and you just you, yeah i get that completely because it's it's just too much like doing so many videos and you have to like you have like expectations i guess you could say because you're x man you know you're supposed to make really really good videos every day and you know you're you're <laughs> totally not you know flawless <laughs> yeah yeah 
<laughs> like I and there's a lot of pressure on you as well. Yeah, so I understand. I will. Yeah. I will say this thing really quick. There is that's the one thing that kind of sucks about like doing YouTube is that there's like videos where I feel like I put like my most work into, I put my most effort into, I think it's a great video and stuff, but then it ends up not performing that well. But then there's like these videos where it's like, oh, dupa dupa dupe, let me just do this for fun. Ha, uh oh, dupa dupa dupe. And then it just blows up. So th that's that's the YouTube algorithm for you. Oh, good, so. yeah. So actually, I've got a fun story about So on my SFM channel that I used to have, I, had, I made really, I made some pretty good SFM videos. And... They all did okay. They got 3,000 views at best. And I was like, okay, that's good. And then I upload a random Gmod, like, TF2 video. And then it gets 100,000 views. <laughs> and I'm like, why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> and then I will say, going back on earlier, we were talking about, like, SFM animations and stuff like that. Again, like, that's another thing is, like, my animations. Like, I would make animations and stuff, but then they want to get, like, as much attention as my Gmod FNAF videos would. So that was unmotivating for like doing animations yeah i mean that's fair yeah. like if if you don't get the views you want it's like what the, what the hell is the point <laughs> yeah because like half of it it's it's like you're doing it for fun and stuff like that but then you also want your viewers to be able to enjoy it so it's like if your viewers aren't enjoying it then it's like it makes you like not really feel like you should enjoy it too it makes you feel like it's not as good as it, it is and... it, it could be yeah yeah so so yeah, um, that was um, a very stressful period of time for Mr. Xmon over here. And, and the hell. Yeah, that's because like back then in, in like those old days, like how I would record videos is like I always, I've always done like every every day, and I think there was a short period where I did two videos every day, which is insane for me to think about nowadays. Oh, like how did I do that? I um. So, but I oh god, I forgot where I was going with this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just talking about stress, I guess you could say, during this time. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's. Move... I completely forgot what I was gonna say, but yeah, you can go ahead and carry on. Yeah. All right. So after all that stress and all that, um, now we move on. To... Oh, oh, I remember what I was gonna oh, say. All right, it, go ahead. That's okay. <laughs> go ahead. Um. So at the, at that time, like back then, I would I would record a video and then immediately publish it. So that's how I would do videos back then, like every single day. So I would record a video every single day and then immediately upload it. Oh god, that's actually what I do. So, <laughs> oh god. Well, was that was that good for you? Like, did you like doing that? Looking back on it, no. I prefer doing what I do now. Is like I'll record like a good amount of videos and then just schedule them to go out. So that way, it's like I can have like a break day, like where I can just have a day to relax, chill back, and not have to worry about YouTube at all. Oh god. So, all right. So you so basically you record like five videos and then you schedule them for like certain days. Like, I should. Yeah, do that. I could do that. I should do that. <laughs> I I. I I have I've like rarely done that like um like record like if I'm like super motivated and want to do videos like yeah I've I have recorded like five videos in one day um like spend an entire day just recording videos for fun and then like that way I can like take like the next few days off and just sit back and relax. Yeah, like that sounds yeah that sounds really nice. I mean I sh I might actually do that honestly because um at this point I'm just really unorganized. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's really good, and apparently, I was actually um uh, I was actually talking to Junkie about this like um a few days ago about like pre-recorded videos and stuff like that, and like right now for this week I have I have none, um like I've been like really kind of slacking well, you slacking recently because I you gotta get some work. I know I've been I've been and unfortunately there's a thing called school which gets in the way of everything, and unfortunately I've been having to divert all my attention to that recently, um. But yeah, apparently, like, Junkie, he has, like, over, like, 12 or something videos, like, pre-recorded right now. Sheesh. So, I know, it's, I was like, when he, when he told me that, I was like, holy frig, I don't remember the last time I had that many videos stacked up. Because normally, like, what I'll do is, like, I'll try to get, like, videos for, like, a week stacked up, so that way it's like, oh, I have a nice time period and stuff to, like, relax. Um, so, that's no normally what I would do. I would try to get, like, at least, like, six videos pre-recorded for, like, the week. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's actually pretty insane. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's good. That's good on him. He's a really good YouTuber. Him. Like he, he, yeah, he, he made he, he, his channel has been growing a lot recently. Yeah, he he has done what I like to call the GMO FNAF speed run 
just straight up get 4k in like seven months <laughs> yeah i will say when my channel like first blew up like it was like when you first start like getting that attention like the attention he's currently getting like that's what i did because like i shot up from like 400 subscribers to like Ten thousand within like a month. <laughs> that that sort of stuff must make someone really happy. I mean, yeah, it was like at the time I'm like, holy frig, it's blowing up. Like I was, I remember I was happy when I got ten subscribers. I was like, oh my god, ten subscribers, this is awesome. Ten people actually enjoy the stuff I make. I, I remember, so, I remember when people back then, when they got like five or ten subscribers, they did five subscribe, five subscriber special, ten subscriber special. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's what that's what I did um at the time because I had like a ten, I had a ten subscriber special, I had a hundred subscriber special, I had two hundred, three hundred, and four hundred, um and then I I had a bunch of I had like five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, but I deleted those ones because like because that's when my channel started blowing up. So I would like upload that video like every day, like like day one is like five hundred. Next I was like, oh my gosh, I already have a, I'm already at six hundred. Got to do a six hundred case, like a six hundred special and stuff. So <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> and then I just immediately like went up to ten thousand. Like holy frick! Like that's this is insane. Yeah, it's 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 it, it's probably a lot, but yeah. So. Yeah, it was like a lot at the time. I was just mind blown. <laughs> All right, um, let's get back to the stress thing. So yeah, after um um you know Jack O'Brien series, you this is the peak of your channel in my opinion. Like this is the most nostalgic time. Like the where your best videos came from. Like, for, for example, Nightmares Prisoners, I really, really liked that one. It's one of my favorites. Oh, yes. I, re I remember that video, too. Mainly because I'm pretty sure that was my first video that was a premiere, if I'm correct. Oh, so... So, so I'm pretty sh I think that's, like, the first video I've ever premiered on my channel. So I remember, like, that one being, like, super memorable because of that reason. Yeah. Um, like that was one of my favorites. Yeah, I loved Nightmare and that and everything. And then Puppet with his pills <laughs> or his medicine. Yeah. <laughs> and then you made the Ignited versus Billy, which is one of my favorites as well. Like, <laughs> oh yes, good old, good old Billy. I, I remember. Billy. I love that video too. That one. Oh, that was great. Oh, good, I, I love Billy. Right dad. there, Billy and his dad were amazing. These did not get as many views. And I'm really salty about that. I know. I that th again. Those are like videos like I absolutely love. But then. They, I mean, they still got like good attention and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, like some so. of the, some of your, some of your, some videos that are really questionable. No offense, got way more views than especially like that balloon boy uh, torture thing got a lot more views than expected. <laughs> yeah, the torture. I, I love. I, I'm just gonna say this. I love how that video. Like for a while, that was like my third most popular video. Now it's gone down to fourth because that Minecraft FNAF statue video yeah. took over. But I loved being able to say, "Hey, one of my most popular videos is torturing balloon boy." Because everyone, because like you, balloon boy is a meme. Everyone can easily be like, "Oh, I hate balloon boy. He's annoying and stuff like that." Um, which I, I, I do like the character Balloon Boy, I don't hate him at all, but I just love to meme with that, like, meme about hating him. Yeah, like, so, uh, who doesn't, I mean, like, in your most, in your collab, you're memeing on him, so, <laughs> there must be some yeah. you did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, like, I, I just, sometimes it makes me a little bit salty, that videos like that, I mean, it's good, but, like, videos like that, uh, get over stuff like, you know, Ignites versus Billy and all that. <laughs> Yeah, that's that. That's another thing I was talking about earlier. It's like there's like some videos like, wow, I think this is really good and stuff. But then there's all these like, haha, funny balloon boy die. <laughs> so yeah, so, I mean that's that's just YouTube for you. So yeah. it's just it's just what it, people just you know, random sometimes they just they just want to see balloon boy die rather than Billy get hit by a whip. <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh, but I will say again, like, the Billy versus the Ignited, because again, like, that video was, like, the origins of Ignited Bonnie's adventure, and that video was, like, how the Ignited's, like, split up and stuff, because that video ends with, like, Ignited Freddy and Ignited Foxy being taken away to a factory, while, like, Ignited Bonnie and Ignited Chica are left behind. Oh, wait, I just... I just realized that is an origin. <laughs> I actually didn't know that until now. <laughs> <laughs> you learn something new every day. There you go. Indeed I do. So, yeah, that was I will say my Gmod FNAF AU, AU is very confusing. Indeed it is, but you know what? I so love stories. I, I will bring this up really quick. Um, I know this is going to shoot up to 2022 really fast. Um, but I will say, like, my AU is, my Gmod FNAF AU is very confusing. And it's even confusing for me because if you remember recently, I uploaded a video called... Um, Glitch Traps, the return of Glitch Traps' brother. 
Oh, yeah. So Glitchtrap's brother comes back, and he's all different and stuff like that because I'm like, oh, he got kidnapped and stuff. And I saw some comments and stuff, and people are like, wait a minute, didn't he die? Like, didn't he explode? I'm like, wait, he did? <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, I, I'm, I'm just gonna, like, I'm eh, just gonna say, oh, he, look, he magically survived. Oh uh, yeah, you, you forget your own loss sometimes. Yeah, I know, I I do. It's it's like I'm I'm surprised like people like that know like my lore better than me. I'm like holy frick. <laughs> okay, that actually reminds me. Um, I actually have my own little Freddy and Friends series. I do, and um, one of my most popular videos, um, Freddy and Friends in and the Third Dimension. They were just traveling around the multiverse, and then it ends on a cliffhanger with like um the original Bonnie. Like I'm gonna kill them. And it just goes to a random video of Freddy and Friends, like, you know, messing up with gravity. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, it's, it's, I, I get that, because sometimes, who cares about law? I just, let's just spring traps, well, glitch traps, smell my fingers. <laughs> there you go. I will say really quick, the whole glitch trap smell my fingers thing originated from Help Wanted, because in Help Wanted, whenever you play FNAF VR Help Wanted, you look to your side, you see glitch trap waving at you and stuff. And I remember, I I don't remember if I ever said it in one of my VR videos whenever I was first playing through Help Wanted, but it looks like Glitchrap's like waving at you, like, hey, come over here, like, look at my fingers, you want to you come smell my fingers? You know, that that's where that meme originated from, oh, God. but mainly originated from the Spring Bunny's, Spring Bunny's hobo problem, because that's when Glitchrap the character was first in introduced to my oh, story. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, he seemed, I mean, was he a hobo as well, I'm assuming? I, don't, I actually didn't see that video. Um, well, Glitchtrap is a hobo, but Spring Bunny was not. Like, basically, the plot of that video is, like, uh, Glitchtrap, the, aka the homeless man, breaks into the pizzeria and won't leave, where, in, but in the pizzeria, like, Spring Bunny and his friends are at. He's like, yo, we gotta get this smelly homeless person out. Oh, so that, God. So, yeah, in that video, Glitchtrap's like, hey, you wanna smell my fingers? And Spring Bunny's like, what the heck is wrong with you, my guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yeah, I... I yeah, those two are such iconic characters, <laughs> and so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's where um, "Smell My Fingers" originated. You're welcome. <laughs> yep, there you go. All right, so and then you made a bunch of other iconic videos, like the Walled City. That was really good. Oh yes, the Walled City. That's when it was like when I first started doing like my like crossover stuff. That's where like crossovers started to begin. Yeah, the, the, that was really good. But then. Um, let's, um, introduce the elephant in the room. Um, Five Lost Nights at Freddy's was debuted three years ago. Oh, gosh. Five Lost Nights at Freddy's. Oh, such a, such a beautiful, beautiful series. Now, yeah. hang on. I need to, I want to pull up part one really quick. Because there's a very fun fact about Five Lost Nights at Freddy's part one. So, if I go here to part one... And if I click here, hang on, let me see. Yes, alright, so... Fun fact about Five Lost Nights at Freddy's. It is a save. Yeah. It's a random save that somebody made, and I was Sweet like, hey, pop. I'm just gonna do a roleplay video on it. Wait, wait, someone made that? <laughs> yeah, so if you go to Five Lost Nights at Freddy's Part 1, and you go to the description, you can see there's a save link right there. Because that's the link to the save. So, you didn't make this, someone else made it. Someone made for part one. It was a save that somebody made. I was like, "Hey, I'm just going to do a roleplay video on this save." <laughs> and uh, um, and yeah, and the save is called Five Lost Nights at Freddy's: The Last Night." Well then, <laughs> how about that? And then that's, that's that's where five lo that's where the title comes from: Five Lost Nights at Freddy's, because that's what the name of the save was. Well, how about that? He's a fraud. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> I remember, um, I think, I'm pretty sure I talked to the person who made the save. I was like, and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe my save is in X-Men 723 series now. So, oh. but I remember the people with the save, like the person who made the save was completely, um, fine with it, that I used it. Yeah, like, I, I, I genuinely didn't know. I thought you made that. And, oh well. <laughs> it was still a really good series. Like, uh, that's your best series. Um, Hans yeah, that, and again, series. that's only for like part one. For like mainly the save, because then yeah. after part one, like all the characters become like withered, the whole map gets destroyed. Yeah, and then you just start expanding it. Like um, I remember, Freddy and Springy Boy went to um, some underwater, well underground, uh, base. Oh yeah, yeah. There, and then yeah, that, 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 I will say that's the one thing I didn't like about Five Lost Nights at Freddy's is like how it like switched maps for like a, like an episode or two. 
Um, but I liked it like staying on the main default map and stuff. I, I think that's what makes Five Lost Nights at Freddy's very unique is that it's on the basic construct map of Gary's yeah. mod. And like it, it was like, you know, it was just it, it was always mostly in constructs. Like I, I love I love constructs because of how expansive it feels despite how small it is. Like and that's... yeah, I, I love construct as well because it's just like the OG map of Gary's mod. Indeed, it is like it's what everyone plays at first. Because <laughs> yeah, like everyone's like played on that map at least once. So. Yeah, so, um, Five Lost Nights came out, it got a bunch of other parts after that, it did really well, and quite frankly, I'm happy it did well, because that is your best series, and I'm glad you Yes, I will it. say, with Five Lost Nights at Freddy's, I originally planned it to only be five parts, but then I was like, hey, I'll just make it ten parts and stuff, and I did parts one, th I did parts one through ten and stuff, I'm like, I think that's a good ending and stuff like that, but I was like, eh, I guess I'll come back, maybe do, like, to part, um, fifteen, um, just for fun, because, like, so many people enjoy that series and stuff. And then part 12 completely, like, exploded. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll try to drag this out yeah. to part 20. Somehow it like, exploded. The, yeah, that's the only reason why I, um, why I continue that series is because so many people loved it and stuff. So right now it's up to part 19, and there's there's only going to be one more part, which is going to be part 20. Yeah. So if, if I'm being honest, it should have ended at part 10, but hey, that's just me. <laughs> at which part? At part 10, because that was probably one of the perfect endings. Yeah, part 10 is, like, where, like, the main story of it concludes. But then, like, part, like... But then after that, it's, like, a little, like, bonus season stuff. Because, like, part 10 ends with all the characters dying. Yeah, breath. So... Yeah, I, I don't consider anything part 10... Uh, well, other part 10 canon, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I will say, with Five Lost Nights at Freddy's, I'll be completely honest here. I like parts, like, 1 through 15. But then, like, after part 15, that's where, like... That's why I don't really upload it that often anymore because, like, I personally have, like, started to, like, not enjoy it because I will admit, like, for myself, like, it does feel very... It start, it's gotten to the point where it feel, feels very dragged out. Yeah, like, kind it, of. it feels like... It feels like something, like, Disney would do or something where they just, like, try and cash grab on... Yeah, I, that I, I guess, like, an example of that could be, like, this... It feels like, like, after that, it's, it feels like the Toy Story 4 of this because, like, Toy Story 1 through 3, that's, like, perfect, that great trilogy, and then Toy Story 4 comes along and just kind of, like, it's, like, a little side story, like, afterwards. Yeah. and, like, and then there's also, like, Ice Age, stuff like that, where it's just oh, God, cash, Ice Age, gr yeah. cash grab after cash grab. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I watched, like, the first, like, four Ice Age movies, and then, like, after that, I, like, kind of stopped. Yeah, they got boring. Yeah, like, the first, like, one, two, like, at least, at least the first two were, like, very good. Yeah, they, they were pretty good. I actually like the fourth one as well, but, yeah, we're going off to topic now. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, after that, um, this this is when your channel started taking off even more. You made multiple videos, Freddy and Friends Go On Vacation. I oh. love the, the beginning to that. <laughs> yes this oh freddy like... and friends go on vacation that was like one of the first freddy and friends videos like one of the first official freddy and friends videos oh yeah it actually is so that that's yeah. when i started to like make a, a a series like off just the basic fnaf one characters yeah and then yeah i love the beginning though like this is how you drive a car with robots and it just kills you <laughs> yeah it's just completely random but hilarious at the same yeah. time yeah this is just when you were going full time now you were yeah you were just you did nothing but GMOF enough. <laughs> yeah, I know that. That's that's basically what I've done. <laughs> yeah, and then you made you made so many good videos. My God, then oh the Fredbear's Family Dynam I love that. I think this is when I came back to your channel actually, Fredbear's Family Dynam up because I only um came around like during that one story for that video, and then I stopped watching for a little bit because I was like, oh, I've got other people to watch, and then I remembered you. I was like, oh God, I remember this guy, and then. He, I saw he was still uploading, like, consistently. I was like, ooh, okay, I'm into this. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, you made mobile videos after that. Um, nothing too big, but it was really, really good. Um, you made the help, the repairing videos, which you did pretty well, I'd say. I mean, oh, yes, the repairing videos. Oh, my gosh, I, I forgot about those. Because, um, like... Because, again, that's when Help Wanted came out, and it's like, we saw, like, the teaser and stuff of, like, oh, repairing the animatronics and stuff like that. Ooh, that, I'm like, that's kind of cool. So I did that for, like, the FNAF 1 and FNAF 2 characters. It's yeah. like a little mini-series. Yeah, those are pretty cool, yeah. And then, okay, um, this this is where it gets interesting. Um, oh, no. The sexy, I think the I know sexy it's... Uh, fo foxy videos. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. I knew this was going to come yeah. up. Um, it, it was inevitable. Yeah, it was. All right. Um, so, what happened here? 
Um, oh god, where where do I begin with this one? Okay, so let's see. We got we got Foxy. Let's make it. Let's make it. Let's turn him into a girl and give him some big old boobs. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh god, sexy Foxy. Oh no. So this is this is gonna be very weird. Here's the origin story of sexy Foxy. Right. It's right. a very weird one. Sorry, right, I'm I'm pumped, Cassidy. Right. This is where it starts off with Cassidy. Right. Who's Cassidy? From Ultimate Custom Night. Uh, oh. The the vengeful spirit or whatever. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, well. So, basically, I, I don't... Because, like, this is back in the... um I don't know if this, like, theory still stands or anything to, like, current day. But, like, around the time when Ultimate Custom Night came out, it's like, oh, we got, like... There's, like, apparently, like, two spirits in Golden Freddy. Like, uh, like a girl named Cassidy and a guy named um what you may call it uh like the the crying child essentially like this is just what the lore was like at the time um it's like oh there's like two different like genders po possessing the same the same i can already spirit. see where this is going i can already see so, where this is going. The, so sexy foxy it's it's very weird like the beginning of that series is very weird because essentially like first of all um foxy goes up to golden freddy and it's like yo turn me into because like golden freddy is like this this character who can like switch genders apparently like powers or something i don't know it was just how it went and foxy comes up to him and is like hey turn me into a girl because i want to be one and th that's where it starts off with it that's actually like the first video technically um because i think in the playlist of sexy foxy i think it's called like sexy foxy returns yes yeah, um i think it's the, the very first one and that's because there's technically a video before it called foxy becomes a girl and stuff and that's where it comes from so basically sexy foxy a very it's a very weird series like the, like especially for the first few episodes because at first it's foxy transformed as a girl but then later on an actual sexy foxy character comes in and foxy just leaves i don't know my again this is like where my au is confusing this is like where i've like kind of like considered it to not be canon anymore of like foxy <laughs> being transformed into a girl yeah, like, so. a lot of these, I feel like you just did mostly just, like, the fun of it, because you were trying something new and all that. Yeah, doing something new. Um, even if it's weird. <laughs> even if it's weird, yes. Um, we, we did this for educational purposes. Yes, Indeed. yes, yes. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... so <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, so we're just gonna gloss over that for a little, a little bit, and let's move on. I, I will say, I will say, I'll, I'll bring up one more thing about it. All right. Unfortunately, okay. um, so basically, you know, I have friends online, right? Yeah, we I have all. a lot of friends. We online. all do. I also have a lot of friends in real life yeah. that go to the same school as me, right? Yeah. So, and obviously, they all know that I have a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. And so, it would only make sense that they would eventually find out about this. Yeah. <laughs> I can just hear you slowly dying. <laughs> um, I don't so know yeah, where this is going. <laughs> but basically, I would... Oh my god, this is like where... This was like not good for like my self-esteem. I, I don't want to say like bullied, but I would definitely got picked on for it. You, you, felt like, you felt like it was childish, I guess you could say. Yes, but like a lot of my friends, like at the time, and I, I still, and I do still have like um, some of my like friends like joke around it and stuff. Like I'm completely like, cool with it. I think it's hilarious. Um, I mean, I mean, like, you're oh big. my god, he's gonna he's gonna go record another sexy foxy video. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know it's it's so funny. Um, but yeah, like at the time, like I, I had like a bunch of my friends like pick on me for it. I'm like, ah, like stop. <laughs> It was a um, it was a very weird time. That's oh, all I'm gonna say. God. You know, what? as as much as they pick on you for it, you're the one who has 840k. So <laughs> that that is true. That is true. I mean, even if it's even if it's a weird way, you got the views. <laughs> yep, there you go. And yes, yeah, so yeah, you made all those. They were weird, but they got your views. They got you a lot more popular so eh. there there you go and yeah and then let's talk about something that isn't that's also popular but isn't weird um spring bunny oh spring bunny spring yeah. bunny spring oh bunny. the og yeah oh my gosh i love that first spring bunny video let me tell you about it oh my gosh have you seen my fun fun <laughs> oh my gosh i'm looking for my fun fun <laughs> see that's that's the thing about spring bunny i love spring bunny i <laughs> honestly <laughs> love spring bunny he's one of my favorite characters in my opinion he, um, he's really cool. Funny like hit. out of like my series and stuff. Um, 
he used to be one of my favorites for a long time but like now like i prefer i, I would easily i i would prefer like glitch trap or the sun now over spring bunny um but like at the time like i absolutely love spring bunny because like spring bunny his to do his voice it's very easy it's very simple and it doesn't hurt my throat if i do it because if i <laughs> if i do like ignite chica's voice or like spring trot's voice it like completely kills my throat to do it but with spring bunny it's super easy to do it's just like uh, the flick of a tongue yeah, you know that uh, yeah that's that's the whole thing his voice was just hilarious <laughs> Yeah, so that's the, I guess that's the best part about Spring Bunny, is, like, that story is about, like, it's just, like, a simple story, it's, like, you have Fred Bear and Spring Bunny, they're chilling at their diner, but then, like, because that's how you think FNAF would be, it's, like, oh, it's, like, these two characters that are just hanging out being homies, but then all of a sudden, this random person comes up, he's, like, yo, yo, you wanna, yeah, you're my homie now, let's hang out and stuff, and then, like, it, th that series first starts off with, like, Fred Bear and Spring Bunny trying to get rid of Spring Bunny, but then Spring Bunny just won't leave, and he's, like, that, he's just, like, that annoying person who, like, keeps poking you with a stick and never leaves leaves so he's like hey you want to like hang out or something you want to you want to do some fun oh, yeah, he's... and then you're like oh my god shut up basically I, I love that those sort of characters who are just annoying for the sake of it like it, they should be annoying but they're just hilarious and all of it <laughs> yeah and i i've kept that charm with spring money but i think like over time because like now like spring money isn't as popular as he used to be um i think the reason why is because like his character hasn't changed yeah but, like mean, that's like what his character is yeah i mean i mean even if he hasn't changed he's still one of your most iconic characters one of your best yeah because like if you take spring bunny and compare him to like how like the first spring bunny video he's like the exact same person <laughs> yeah exactly i mean like i mean yeah I mean, there isn't like a there isn't like the thing that's hard about spring bunny is like there isn't like that much like character development going on with him yeah i mean Imagine, imagine if you got like a massive change or something like in today. I wonder what happened there. Yeah. So yeah, um, you made Spring Bunny another one of your most iconic characters, and then we moved up. You didn't make a lot. You did the rebuilding, the animatronic videos, which were really, really good. <laughs> it was fun what you like make derpy versions of the characters. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's that the, with the parts mod. Yeah, the, par the parts. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh, this is this is nice going down like memory lane right here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, because there's like so many like little things and stuff. Because yeah, that that was the parts mod. Because the Ink Man uploaded the parts mod, and it's like, oh wow, this is really cool. Because like when I first did my review on it, it's like, oh wow, so there's like individual parts of the animatronic. That'd be very cool. Like you can take the, all these parts and make your own unique animatronic and stuff. And that's when I got the idea. It's like, oh hey, what if I try to make the animatronics from all these spare parts? And then obviously like they're derpy and stuff like that on purpose. Um, try to make them like look as bootleg as possible, but try to be super serious about it at the same time. Super serious, as he said. The it's like, way. oh yes, here's here's Freddy, here's here's the brand new Freddy Fazbear, and he's just a complete pile of parts. <laughs> it's, imagine putting that derpy Freddy on stage, and then the kids just like, um, mommy. <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah that was a that was a fun series to do the parts mod yeah, and yeah, like yeah. obviously like I've, I've i've said this like if like any like parts mod come if like there's ever another parts mod that comes out like i'll easily like do a review on it and then easily like build animatronics out of it yeah uh, i bet soon there's gonna be a parts mod for the security breach like you know. yeah i i hope there is because i will easily do a video on that gregor is gonna get parts for him <laughs> oh god no 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 <laughs> Alright, so yeah, <laughs> moving on from that, you made more videos, you made more videos, you were just, um, you were doing gaming videos, whilst also doing Gmod FNAF videos, and then... Yes, uh, I also did like a bunch of like FNAF fan games and stuff, like, again, that's like to help me, I used to do a bunch of FNAF fan game videos, like, because I, I enjoyed recording FNAF fan game videos, I knew they wouldn't do as good as my Gmod videos, but that was like a way for me to be able to do something like... Like, I really enjoy without, like, getting burnt out over time. Yeah, on just, like, like focusing variety, on I guess you could say. Yeah, to give it a bit more variety. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then you made my favorite video you've ever made, The Rise of a Kingdom. I love that video so much. Oh, The Rise of the Kingdom. Oh, my gosh. Another OG series. Yeah. Um, yeah, because that one was live-streamed, yeah. if I'm correct. Yeah. Uh, that, that was a series that was, like, complete random and stuff. Like, that was, like, the first time, like, I ever, like took my characters and made like a spin-off series on them like took like like characters from like my story like spring bunny um like ignited chica uh, all of them and like threw them into like a spin-off version like what if these characters were placed in like a different situation you know it's like they live in the medieval times yeah and like 
I just, I just love, I just love the wheel decider idea in general. Like it, it opens yes, and then that, that's something else that made that like super unique. It's like, hey, instead of me deciding, it, let's just make it completely random and let's have a random wheel generator do it for us. <laughs> My favorite one was Bonnet the Dungeon Master. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Bonnet being the dungeon dungeon master. You had like all the different like like animatronics, like be kids. I think you had like Ignited Freddy and Candy. They were like yeah. brothers, <laughs> and then the... you had like all the guards, the servants, the king and queen. Yeah, where Jocko Bunny is the queen. <laughs> oh yeah, that was hilarious. I'm like, can I get a female character place for the yeah. queen? It's like, and then, Jack okay. I'm like and then fine, and then Jacko Bunny immediately died. Yeah. And then you got, and then you got, yeah, you got sexy Foxy for the king, and you're like, I'm deleting the video. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, all right, I'm deleting this. Screw this. I'm out. <laughs> oh god, yeah, that is. It's my favorite. It's just so funny, and I, I love the reactions you got when you were getting them. Like when you got Toy Freddy, you were just so joyful. <laughs> Play yeah, the baker. Oh my gosh, Toy Freddy. Yeah, oh yeah, Toy Freddy was the baker. I forgot about that. Yeah, Toy Freddy's like, oh boy, let's get some. I, I don't know what he saw. Like probably like bread. He's like, let's let's make some bread. Yeah, and then uh, Spring Bunny was the maid. Um, Fred Bar was the gardener. Oh yeah, <laughs> so it was just completely random. It was yeah. great. I need to do another series like that soon. Yeah, you really should, should do it, more. We'll really. decide the stuff like this. Like I know it's like recently. Recently, I did a um the monetization versus demonetization war two, and that like it's like a video that's like not AU related at all. It's just completely fun and just like a random story. And I absolutely enjoyed recording that video and stuff. I want to try to make more videos like that that aren't like AU related. So that way, there's like no restrictions. It can just be com completely random and chaotic. Exactly. Like those old videos like that are really good. Like personally, though, like if you ever do another wheel decider video, I would do it in like a prison or like a, like a suburban, like you know, neighborhood. That would be really funny. Yeah. <laughs> like just imagine like Spring Bunny as like the ward or something. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Or, like, have some, like, character, like, um, example, like, you have, like, um, Sun as, like, a police officer come up. Yeah, I can just imagine Sun just walking up and just be like... He's like, he's like, well, 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 what do we have here? Somebody's been caught speeding on the road yet again. I'm gonna have to write you up again, mister. I'm gonna have to bury you just like I buried the simps. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. Hmm, so you must be a simp. Since you love breaking the raw wall so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. I can just imagine some of that, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's yeah. a lot that can be done there. Yeah, just so yeah, those are the fantasies that we could have. Alright, anywho. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> after that you made um the nightmares try to take over the pizza rate, which is basically nightmares prisoners. <laughs> But just uh, yeah, I know that's something else is like the nightmares like attacking the animatronics and stuff. Yeah, you've done that that's like three times. I, I made a, like a good few videos on that. Oh, um, can I tell you my fate? All right, so you know, with you, I have so many videos, right? Yeah, let me tell you this. Do you know what my favorite YouTube title is that I've ever named a uh, video? All right, what is it? <laughs> Do you want to know what my favorite title is? What Gmod FNAF Nightmare Comes. <laughs> My, it's an old video from five years ago and obviously it's spelled c-o-n-e-s because night because in that video nightmare comes to the pizzeria <laughs> to oh, take it that's, over that's age but it's years. just like a, the innocent child that titled it it's just oh oh that's aged so well <laughs> it has that's my favorite title like for ladies any of my and videos gentlemen. ladies and gentlemen now presenting night nightmare comes nightmare comes <laughs> oh my gosh Oh, that is that is proper hilarious. That I need to find that video. <laughs> yes. All right. Anywho, moving on. You made the size FNAF story after that, which also blew up. It was really good. Oh yes, the size FNAF story again. That was like another series that wasn't AU related at all. Just yeah. a fun little side story to it, do. It reminded me a and, lot of. And, oh. Well, I was gonna say really quick is that like the main point of that series was because like. To main to focus on Chica to give Chica like a chance to stand out and like have the main focus on it be Chica. Yeah, like now that I mention it, yeah, it's kind of like both it this uh, Five Lost Lost Nights and Ignite Bonnie's Adventure since it's putting the focus on another animatronic that doesn't get a lot of attention and also it's just it just reminds me a lot of Five Lost Nights. <laughs> in general. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really really good. Yeah, and then. 
you made the fall of the kingdom, which, yeah, that was hilarious, <laughs> the ending. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. <laughs> good old Kingdom series. For, for I mean, I don't really have much to say about that. I mean, yeah. it was just, it was just good. I mean, yeah. yeah. I'll know. I'll know. He has nothing to say if he's just silent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was around this time when you, yeah, you were just kind of like this is when you were just starting to, you know, become who you are today. Like, you, there's Freddy. There's the Minecraft Freddy videos. There's the Stylized Withered videos. Um, yeah. There was, oh yeah. A bunch of these. Oh yeah, I was actually there. If, if FNAF three took place in FNAF two, I, I was actually there for the premiere of that. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, again, just like another like like just a random st like again like what if like what if like it was FNAF three in the FNAF two location? <laughs> All right, uh, hold on. Just simple stuff like that. Oh my god! Wait. Okay. So fun fact. You know when you reviewed the Splinks Endo NPC? Yeah. Um, if you go to the comments in the pinned comments, you actually pinned my comment in there. Did I? Yeah, you did. If you search it up now, um, the end of Splinks video, you pinned my comment when I here. Let me let me go. Yeah, let me yeah. let me look this up. Splinks, Splinks Indo. I gotta yeah. see this. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Brand new Indo skeleton. Um, is it that one or is it? Uh, who's it from? Yeah, it's that. I... It's that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good old times. Yeah, that that was me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that on a different account or Yeah, it's, that's that's the SFM account. Oh. All right. Well, since 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 now I know that that's you, I'm going to unpin it and delete it. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> All right. Um, anywho, back on track. You made it, and then Help Wanted came out. You made Help Wanted videos, obviously. And yep. yeah, and your channel just stayed kind of consistent. You know, you were just making sexy videos, Freddy and Friends. You know, a few, <laughs> yeah, a few, you know, random stuff. And oh god, Gmod random moments part nineteen. What? what oh yes, real? the Gmod random moments. I I remember it used to be um. I used to do, like, way back in the day, I used to do, like, these live streams where I do live streams with, like, subscribers and stuff, but, like, now I can't do that anymore because, like, I have so many subscribers and stuff. Yeah, they so the, then that's when I tried doing, like, videos with, like, channel members and stuff. And even now, it's, like, I don't have... I really don't have time to to, to do that and stuff because, like, I have more priorities now. <laughs> exactly. You've grown... You're almost a million. And congrats about, I know, It's way. insane. <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah, I'm at, like, 850 right now. Yeah, and... All right, and then um, after um, a consistent year, you made the Nightmares Attack, which is one of my favorite. Oh sequences. yes, the Nightmares Attack. Yes, again, another another situation where the Nightmares bully the regular animatronics. Yeah. But this time it was different because the 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 robots are human for some reason they have blood coming out of them which was really cool oh movie. yes that, that's something that made that series unique is like how like the animatronics would like have their like it, that's what made the nightmares an actual threat and that is like oh they could actually kill the animatronics and stuff like that yeah and unfortunately the series kind of fell because so it did it did die till it did die at the very end. Yeah, I it, will kind of say yeah. that it suffered from because again, Five it's Nights. just like something like similar that happened with like Five Lost Nights at Freddy's. It's like it's like it's it's nice to leave a series on part ten, right? Yeah, to try to stretch it out to part ten. So like part, I will say like part nine and part ten were completely like stretched out. So yeah, like uh, I really liked it up until part three. Well, I mean, I liked Part 3, but after that, I just didn't like it. But it was still really good until then. Yeah, because, and again, it's like, it kind of just, like, repeated itself. It's like, oh, the Nightmares attack. Oh, they attack again. Oh, they come back. Oh, yeah. they come back and fight again. Yeah, they come. The Nightmares come again. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, you just, and then after that, you just made more videos. Five Lost Nights Part 12 and Blo Balloon Boy torture video blew up for no reason. <laughs> and Yep. Yep, and then yeah, um, we're pretty much where we are today. <laughs> you know, yeah, you, you made videos. You did, you did sometimes gaming, sometimes Gmod, and recently you've been collabing with a bunch of people, which is really nice. Yeah. So I want to try to do that more often. Is trying to 
collab because like now as i'm starting to get a bit more free time it's like now i can like try to have time to like hang out with other people and try to help like other like other gmod fnaf creators like try to get some um what's what you call it like some note some notice yeah attention as well yeah like a, a lot of people like have started like now that we've grown up more they've started to, like take inspiration from you that's what i'm doing really i mean i'm, I'm trying to like put a different spin on it like because I'm a big fan of, like, sci-fi and myth mythology and all that. And I play a bunch of mythology games, and it's what I use for most of my videos. And since I've been, like, learning how to, like, bone merge and give animatronics, like, clothes and all that stuff, like, it it just kind of helped me expand it, <laughs> make it better. Yeah. Like, yeah, that, that sort of inspired me. And you've obviously inspired a bunch of other people, like FNAF Junkie, you know, all those other people. Yeah, like, you... You've done a lot for a bunch of people, so you should be proud of yourself for that. Mm hmm And yeah, so... And yeah, so... And I'm scrolling down your videos, and yeah, we're up to date now. Uh, with your most recent video, which is... Let me just go to home, so I'd have to scroll down. Um, it was a collab with Junkie, wasn't it? Yes, it was the second episode of Frodo and Bongo. Yeah, yeah, like... Yeah, like, see, here's the thing, you, from beginning to end, or I guess, I mean, yeah, you you went from just um, um, a kid trying to make a Minecraft channel to one of the biggest um, Gmod FNAF YouTubers ever, like, actually, what am I saying? You're the biggest one ever, because <laughs> yeah. you're the only one, <laughs> well, well, the only big one, like, big, big, big yeah. one, yeah. <laughs> Currently, yeah. Yeah, like... So yeah, you you became like a big influencer on most people and just to Gmod FNAF community in general. Like you have a really strong community, especially like even though it's like what five years old now, it you've got a really strong community going. Still, there are so many other people trying to do what you do. Yeah, yeah, like you you did a lot. So yeah, we've yeah, and I try to I try to um like promote that, like try to like get people like. Like other people who are trying to do like Gmod FNAF videos, I try to like be like like sometimes like I would go on like some videos or something like that's a smaller channel has made of Gmod FNAF. I'm like, hey, this is really good. Keep up the great work and stuff like that. Um, cause like I I do I really love seeing that like love seeing like other people like find interest in it and stuff. And like I see all these things about like people being like, oh, this is just like you're just like. I see these people like talk to these smaller Gmod FNAF creators like oh you're just an X-Man 723 copy you're just copying X-Man 723 I and stuff but in so my opinion much. like that, that that's not really copying because it's just because like look FNAF is a game Gary's Mod is a game they're there I don't own those games yeah, exactly so, <laughs> I mean yeah yeah like it, it's just inspiration as you know as an alternative I guess yeah so in a way I guess you're just selling into your I guess in a way this is just your mentor um you know time now this is where your science become more of like um i mean you're still really big you know you're still doing a lot of great stuff but like you're more or less settling into you know like making videos but also like trying to help um you know you know the more younger people trying to get big and gmod for enough yeah yeah um so yeah um let's focus away from like um you know your youtube for a second let's talk about all the friends you've made along the way like there's people like ufi man foxy rocks all that and they're some of the biggest you know fnaf youtubers ever like how did you meet them um well i mean again it's like i'm pretty sure they were the ones who kind of like came to me because i used to have um i used to have a discord server which i don't anymore because oh, yeah. like i'm too like it's like gets too chaotic and stuff oh, yeah. nowadays I, I remember when it got deleted actually if, um, but i won't go into that <laughs> yeah um but anyways like that's how i met most of like my um online friends and stuff through through discord and stuff and like through like youtube comments and stuff like that um because like they would like join my server and be like and i just remember like them being like kind of like more like standing out more in the crowd than other people and stuff and like like sometimes i would like randomly like hop into vcs with people and just talk and chat and stuff and i would chat with them and then we eventually just started playing some games together and eventually just became friends yeah, I mean, I mean, like, I'll, I'll actually like both Ufi Man and Foxy Rocks. They're really, really, really cool people. Like, I mean, I love Ufi Man especially for like trying to like he got burnt out for enough, and he didn't just quit because he knew people wouldn't like his new content. But he's instead he just you know decided to be like, okay, if you don't like my content, that's fine. I'll just get a new audience, <laughs> and 
And I love, yeah, no, I, I think like, yeah, Ufi Man is amazing. Yeah, I love that mindset. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, Nuggle Eye, I do prefer his FNAF Team of Fact content, but hey, that's on me. All right, if he yeah, makes a new audience, that's great. Like, it's like the same stuff with me. It's like I can easily like relate to that and stuff. Like I, I will say like I definitely like through like enjoyment. It's like I don't really like play like Gary's mod like unless I'm doing it with like a friend or something. But if I'm just doing it by myself, it's like if I have like free time or something, like I'm probably not going to be spending it playing Gary's mod. Um, I would probably like play like something else because like I've played Gary's mod like so much and stuff. Like now it's like I really only like do Gary's mod for like um, for doing YouTube videos and stuff. But it's like if I'm if like if it's like with a friend or something like yeah sure I'll do it for fun, so yeah like yeah like stuff like that it's just I mean mm. yeah now it is it's kind of hard to enjoy G mod by yourself since it's you've been doing it for like years now. Yeah, but I will say I definitely do enjoy recording videos. I find like recording videos to be like a lot of fun, except for like a a, a handful where at times it can be like stressful and stuff and feel feel like kind of forced. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, I mean, your most stressful periods were, you know, like, what do you call it, Jacobone videos, those were probably really stressful, I mean, they were, you've already said they yeah. were. <laughs> yeah, like, stuff like that, and, yeah, like, when you're feeling false, it, it's not good at all, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah, that was pretty much everything that I was gonna ask, so, yeah, but, um, but before we end, let's, let's, let's get to the bonus round. Let's oh ask, no, the bonus round. Let's ask oh, some, no. It's time for some bonus questions. Alright. So, um, let's... Here's a good one. Alright. Um, who do you prefer? Uh, Spring Bunny or... Um, uh, who was it? Glitch Trap. Spring Bunny or Glitch Trap? Yeah. That's... That's tough. Ooh. That is definitely tough. Because, like, again, like, in my old days, like, I absolutely enjoyed Spring Bunny and stuff. But, like, nowadays, like, Spring Bunny is, like, kind of... Like, if I were to upload a video about Spring Bunny and then upload a video about Glitch Trap, like, obviously a lot more people would probably be more interested in the Glitch Trap video. Yeah. Um, so, personally, it's like, I like, I, I love both characters, obviously, but I think I would probably, like, currently, I would probably say I like Glitch Trap more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, Glitch Trap's pretty funny. I mean, smell yeah. my fingers. Yeah, I love You want to smell my fingers and then also having to deal with Vanny. It's like, God, God dang it, Vanny! Oh god, yeah, Vanny. And, and then he also has his glitch trap mobile. He's like, let's go in the glitch trap mobile. <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here's another good question. Um, if you had to erase um, one series from your channel, what would it be? Other than, um, you know, the Jack O'Bonny series, since I know that's obvious. <laughs> so, erase a series. Like, yeah, from history. Like, as if it never existed. Oh god. Um... That's that's a that's another trick question. Yeah. Um that would be a big one by the way. <laughs> a big one. Yeah, not one of your smaller ones like, you know, your Gmod for half one. <laughs> I the OG series. Yeah. I would I would definitely not get rid of that series. I would definitely not get rid of like the OG series. Definitely yeah. want to get rid of Freddy and Friends. That's tough. That is a tough question. Yeah. Um I mean, it's like, I love the, oh my god, that's a tough question. I love Ignited Bonnie, um, I, I love all the Bonnies, um, Freddy's Bad Halloween, that's a, that's a small series, I'd say. Yeah. Um, oh god, you even have FNAF on a bridge and throwing FNAF off a building. Oh god, yeah. Um, god, that's tough, I mean, again, I, I know, like, an easy answer I could say is like, oh, let's get rid of, uh, Sexy Foxy, um, but the reason why I would keep that series is because that like doing that series has like taught me a lot on YouTube. It's like showing like oh like what you can and what you can't do. It's like showing like limits and stuff like that. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, uh, and and it's like I've and like by doing that series, like I got like a bunch of like experience and stuff. Um, so it kind of like helped form me better. Um, that is a tricky question. Again, right. like. I mean, there are some series, like, I don't absolutely, like, enjoy. Um, oh, okay, well, wait, never mind. I, I kind of take that back. I, I mean, there's some, there's so many good ones. Like, because I, I have memories with these. Like, even, like, the stylized Withered Amatronics get replaced because, like, I had a short area period, like, where I loved the um, stylized right. characters. That is, I don't know. It, it's, like, with me, like, trying to get rid of something, like, old. It's, like, I, I definitely don't think... Like anything AU related, I don't think I could get rid of. Right. Um, 
Uh, I could. How about I narrow? How about I narrow it down to three? How's that sound? <laughs> okay. All right. Just all right. say three. Okay. Um. Um. Spring Bunny and Fred Bar. Um. Another one. I need another one. Uh. Let me find a good one. Um. Oh yeah. Five Lost yes. Nights. Okay. And um. FNAF and Among Us, because I know that gets you a lot of views. <laughs> you, that is... Oh my god, that's tough! God dang it! It's um, tough. Oh my god, that sucks, because I know, I know Five Lost Nights at Freddy's and FNAF and Among Us have done very well, right? They yeah. the, Both of those series have done extremely well. Yeah. But then you also have Spring Bunny, and I personally just love the character Spring Bunny. Um... But I know he doesn't get like as much attention nowadays. Yeah, fair. So, I, I it's like the more logical answer would be like, oh, let's like get rid of Spring Bunny because like it's not like as noticeable. But I think on a personal level, with me like enjoying videos, I think I'd I think I would actually go with Five Lost Nights at Freddy's. To be honest, well done. Surprise. I know. I know. That's a bit of a shocker. But like, because with Five Lost Nights at Freddy's, for me personally, like recording that series, like. I've always felt like it's, like, kind of, like, stretched out and stuff. And, like, whenever it's time for me to, like, record the next part, I'm like, wait, what even happened in the last part? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty hard to remember. It was, like, yeah, that series was, like, kind of chaotic and kind of unorganized slightly. Because, um, again, I do love, like, for Five Lost Nights at Freddy's, I do love parts 1 through 10. But then after that, it felt really stretched out. So. Yeah, so, Five Lost Nights. It, it, it all right. <laughs> I know. Again, that's that's a tough decision. I still love that series, so don't get me wrong. Yeah, I, I get it. it. Was it's a hard decision. Yeah, yeah it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But it's like if I had to get rid of one of those, that's the one I would probably end up choosing. All right. All right. And uh, final question. Um, I need to think of a good one because I need to send us off with a bang. Um. All right. Here's a good one. All right. Um. Um. What would you do if you didn't do Gmod FNAF? Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good question. Good, good, good question. Again, um, well, let's just say, like, if Gmod FNAF, it's like, boom, it dies all of a sudden, boom. It's like, what would I do next? Yeah. I Again, I would go back to my roots, and I would definitely try out Minecraft again, because, again, like, I absolutely, I, I absolutely loved Minecraft back in the day. I still love it to this day. That's where I would try out first, try to go back and just do something Minecraft-related. Yeah, that would... Yeah, actually, I would probably enjoy the Minecraft content because you know you really got good chemistry and all that. And, like, yeah, because I and uh, like on my channel, like I don't upload Minecraft like that often, but I still upload like a few Minecraft videos like here and there. Yeah, like I just I just realized like on your current your your recent uploads, it's just Gmod FNAF, nothing, nothing Minecraft or anything. Yeah, it's just like I've been just doing Gmod FNAF because I know that's what like my fans, my audience really loves and enjoys. So it's like I'm trying to like focus on that. And yeah. give the people what they want. Yeah, that's understandable, yeah. So, yeah. That's all the questions, nice. then. So, Alright. Alright, so, before we head out, then, and say goodbye to the audience, um, do you have any inspirational, like, things to say to, like, anyone new to starting Gmod for that? Or, like, in general, anything inspirational? Or, well, basically, I will say, like, I'll, say, I'll just say with, like, being a YouTuber in general, right? All right. So with doing YouTube, it's definitely like taught me. It's like it, it seems like very easy on paper. It's like to say like, hey, I want to make, I want to do, I want to play video games and record myself doing it for a living and stuff like that, and just try to like do that. Like that sounds like easy on paper, but when you actually try to like do it, like put in the effort to do it, it like does take like a lot of like willingness and a lot of like um, devotion to do it. Because it's like not only are you like not only are you like um, playing a game, you got to be able to like play the game well. But then also at the same time, you want to make it interesting and kind of like unique in its own special way. So you got to try to think of like, oh, how can I make this like unique and stuff? Um, but then also like make sure like your video like always like stays interesting throughout the entire period of it. So that way like people don't get like dull or boring of it. Um, and also something else on like a personal level, it's like you got to make sure you don't get stressed out. Definitely like don't beat yourself up. Like I've done that. I've like I've beat myself up kind of like like whenever like a video doesn't do well or something. I'm like, oh, my God, this sucks. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm awful. It's like, no, you, you really should not do that. Like the numbers it really doesn't matter. All that matters is like trying to make sure that you enjoy doing it. It's like to just mainly focus on like what you enjoy 
and don't like feel forced or something like because that's something i've learned like if i'm like being like it's like oh my god i don't i don't want to record this video i just don't feel like it then don't just like take a break just go chill and stuff like make content like do youtube or like do gmod fnaf whenever you're at your most like fullest and like at your most motivated because if you try to like do something when you're not motivated or like really bored it's going to come out super poorly and it's just not going to be as good as content so the main focus is just to stay focused try not to let yourself get burnt out and don't beat yourself up if something doesn't go well just keep trying and getting up and keep on going so basically just do just do whatever you think you do whatever you want to do don't care about the views just do it if it's fun yeah just like mainly enjoy it and stuff like definitely like i have like for instance like your current state like when you're a small creator it's like yes like mainly focus on it for fun because like we're because like for me in my position it's like oh i was like i i, I kind of need to focus on views to see like basically views tell me like what people like enjoy and what they don't enjoy and it's like i need to make sure like i focus on what people enjoy so that way my channel stays consistent and doesn't die um but as a small creator like when you're like first trying to figure out like find your own unique roots and stuff like just have fun with it like just enjoy it and don't like stress out over it because definitely i will say for me like when i was doing youtube like before i became like even like back in like 2016 and 17 it's like i was just mainly focusing on for fun not really caring about like oh like if my videos did well or not just making videos for the sake of making them for fun yeah like so yeah so that is some really good um you know advice from x-man over here some really inspirational quotes so just do whatever you think is fun don't care about the views so yeah that that is from x-man right here so yeah i've, I've kind of seen like a whole new side to this guy honestly because at first i just thought he was kind of sus you know just that's about it <laughs> and then he was he and he, he's still kind of sus. <laughs> he's still kind of sus, but I know I, I am a sus person. I, I will I will admit yeah, that. Yeah, oh, everyone. I make sus. I make I make sussy videos at times, but that's yeah. that's just cough who cough. I am. The lost episodes. <laughs> we we don't we don't we don't we don't speak about those anymore. Uh, no, we don't. But yeah, we don't we don't. Yeah. There's there's a bunch of old series like where I'll admit I'm like okay, definitely went too far with that. Should not have done that. Yeah, yeah. it's a little too sus. Yeah, we'll admit it's, it's you gotta there's there's times where you have to admit where you're wrong so yeah but yeah like as i was saying yeah he he may be sus but it, it, being sus doesn't make you you know um uh, it's like that's person. that's another thing it's like something i was kind of saying earlier it's like with the whole sexy foxy series for instance so it's like yes i know that it's like that series is sus but it does give you experience and stuff it like lets you know like where your limits are and like what you what you really should and shouldn't do it like basically gives you like experience so that way it just kind of shows you like uh, i yeah. forgot where i was going with this yeah um, <laughs> it gives you experience i just lost i just i just lost my train of thought i'm not gonna lie <laughs> Um, break. <laughs> All right, <Don't> <laughs> this gives you experience. Um, but I guess it just kind of like, again. Oh my god, I just wanted like say experience. Um, oh my god, where was I going with this again? I, I forgot. I have no idea, but yeah. <laughs> it just shows you. It just kind of teaches you. Like, sure, you basically you're gonna make mistakes, but you're able to learn from those mistakes. I think that's the main point I was just trying to get across yeah. right there. Learn from your mistakes. That's what he says. So, yep, I'm a mistake. Yeah, so, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this was Xman723, and, yeah, um, go sub to him. You, you probably already have, but, um, yeah, even do it anyway. And, um, yeah, so this is the podcast with Xman723 here. He's a really great guy. I've loved Yep, and spending thank you for here. having me on to this. Thank you to, for inviting me to this. This was actually a lot of fun to do, so thank you for being You're an amazing good. host. Um, yeah, um, I should probably stop recording before his shirt gets too sweaty. Fun fact, his AC is broken, so he has a really sweaty shirt. <laughs> yep, it is currently 80 degrees in here. I'm dying. All right, so yeah. Anywho, um, thank you all so much for watching this, and, and I will see you in episode 3, where I can all be, hopefully get more YouTubers on here, so that'll be fun. Make sure to leave a like on this video! to subscribe oh, to this beautiful he's beautiful crazy. boy he's yeah 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 please sub subscribe to me i'm kind of love it oh god he's crazy he's crazy yep all right <laughs> all right <laughs> anywho i'll see you all in the next video then see you later <laughs> oh one explosion see you later lads